Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's play Lords of the Fallen. Let's go ahead and get started right away. Decided I'm going to go with a rogue type character. Going to go with a rogue. You can do the dual wield to have a buckler. We have a rogue. Here's our starting gear. Let's get started. You can decide if you want the next goal in your journey to stay on the screen all the time or be shown only at important moments. That's good to know. Thank you for that tip. Loading screen. Fallen God, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. <laughs> Hmm, Keystone, Hand of God Mountains. A different time, a different war. So I've played just a little bit to make sure my recording stuff is looking okay. If you see any problems, hear any problems, definitely let me know in the comments. Still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. It was quiet, thanks. Alright, so this is the tutorial, as you might imagine. I'm going to be using the keyboard and mouse. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I might end up switching to the controller for a game like this. Let's go ahead and get close to him. Middle mouse targets. Or, uh, locks on. Right mouse button blocks. And then left mouse to do multiple hits. I like the way they did the tutorial, by, by the way. So left and right or sp and with space. Then E is the big strong attack. And then E again to finish him off. So this is a lot like Dark Souls. If you haven't heard about this game, it's supposed to be a lot like... Darks will give you energy bar, the combat is supposed to be difficult, the enemies are supposed to be difficult. So we'll see just how, how well it stands out. Let's go ahead and left mouse button to get rid of that. Game looks great. Demonic weapons pack, that's from pre-ordering I believe. 
The monk's decipher unlocked. Don't pre-order, folks. I know. The lion heart pack. Actually, yeah, I think that the lot is from pre-order. I don't know if it's in my inventory or not. We'll wait and see here. It's, there's an item over here. These things keep coming. We fight back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to, and their spell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose one of the creatures we were fighting spat on us the saliva hit my eye it burned and it burns deeper into me all right let's go talk to this guy it's locked you're bleeding you're still losing blood caslo the rogar got you good I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. I need you to stay alive. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. Well, that's nice of him. The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. By the way, I will be talking to NPCs. I will be taking my time and exploring this game, doing as many side quests and whatnot as I can find. If you're wanting a more speedrun type thing that just focuses on combat, doesn't talk to NPCs, I totally respect that you came here, but this is probably not going to be the let's play for you. So far, I've seen only corpses, no survivors. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. Uh, and not to leave on a negative note, I don't want to, I did I thought about that after I said that. Uh, not to push people away, but I just want to give people warning ahead of time, I will be taking my time going through this. So if you want more, you know, serious playthrough, then this is definitely the one to watch. How do we open the door? There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps. Or a key. Or turning the doorknob. We haven't thought about that. Alright, a switch or a key, eh? It's locked. <laughs> That'd be funny if it just opens. Like, oh, well, looks like it was fine from the get-go. Let's look at his little torch thing. How convenient. It... I had a landslide right after we came in here. Alright, nothing in there. I've tried to avoid reviews for this game, at least up until this point. Just so I didn't, didn't have anything ruined for me. Ooh. Hello. Now, I'm a... This type of game, I tend to be a very cautious type player. I tend to take my time, because I don't want to die. Ooh, easy. Hmm, the lock end's a bit weird. I lost lock in. Come on. I'm wondering if you can backstab. I wanted to come out here, but I don't think it's going to happen. There we go. So yeah, I tend to play these games very carefully, because in my opinion, that's how you should be playing them. Oh, I can't desecrate this crypt. I don't know if there's any good stuff in there. Oh, I can destroy barrels and stuff. That's good. Wonder if this. Whatever, like Dark Souls, you can destroy all this stuff, but there's never anything of value in there. But I'm curious if you can backstab and parry in this game. I'm hoping you can at least backstab. Come on. Hello. Oh, looks like. Oh, we can. Even though it's a weird backstab because you actually forced them to turn around. You got a sealed room. We'll check that stuff out later. Right now I'm going to do a relatively short session. I always like to start off a new let's play with... With a short session in case there's any audio or video problems. If you can get a head start for minifires, that means a different sense. So wait, how do I sneak though? Whoa, he uh, turned around and got angry quick. So I kind of missed how to do stealth, if it showed that. Like how to sneak. I don't know if that's possible in this game. I know stealth never really seemed like a major aspect of 
Dark Souls. I'm, pr I'm pressing R trying to find hidden things as well. I don't know if this really... It is in me, and it is changing me. My skull. The bones are moving, growing. It does not feel like poison in my veins. More like liquid darkness. We have seen with others what happens next. Our sight goes first. Then follows sanity. Brother William, brother Peter and I won't let the disease take us. We will choose death before it chooses us. Okay. So backstab, pretty useful. Pretty damn useful, especially since it kills these guys with one hit. Though I still find it amusing, at least on these mobs. Your father. The fires on the horizon. They are spreading towards our village. I beg you, be careful. Something evil is happening. I can feel that. You can always seek refuge here in the monastery. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please, please be safe. Oh, what is this? Challenges. You might want to remember the location of the of this magical porter. And other ones too. It opens up once you defeated a formidable enemy. One enemy, one portal. There's always a reward on the other side, but it's not always free. Yeah, sorry, I might have actually missed what it said about stealth earlier. Sometimes I miss the gigantic messages that are right in my face. Alright, hello. Hello, big boy. Let's do this thing. Oops. I keep wanting the middle click to, uh... Oops. To dodge. For some reason, uh, drinking a potion will get you back your health. Make sure, make sure you won't get hit as well. But only health is stored in potions. Well, telling me how to heal would be nice, probably. I think. Damn it! All right, this stairs is not really ideal. Ah, that guy's getting back up. That's good. Definitely wish I knew how to heal. That would have been pretty sweet. They told me about potions, but they didn't kind of tell me how to use them. So maybe they'll tell me how this time around. We'll find out. Oh, looks like we have respawned enemies. Which makes sense. Wow. A little... Oh, that was weird. Interesting sound effect when you're low on stamina. Let's go, big boy. Alright, I'm gonna have to run. After we duck, or after we roll. Damn it, I don't know why I keep trying to right click to dodge. Can you not backstab these? Oh, yeah. Why is he so much harder than he was before? Still wish I knew how to use potion. Alright, let's figure that out. Since it is not bothered to tell us, at least as far as I've seen. Okay, I think it's one. There we go. Yeah, if it told me how to do that, I completely missed it. Whoa. I'm not really sure where I'm at right there. There we go. Not sure what that number at the bottom is either, the 95%. Tight corridors are pretty rough. For the camera. Whoa, it's going berserk here. All right. All right, I also saw that control is sneak. Or sneak is control, however you want to look at it. Wow, it is really slow. He's going to turn around before I get over there, probably. There we go. 
quickly he's just kind of staring at the wall. Alright, I'm going to guess this is similar where you have to like, recover your soul and all that to get your XP back. I do know a little bit about this game. I watched some of the, like, the developer things. I don't know what it is, but there's something odd with the way that it does. The camera when you roll, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it feels a lot more chaotic. Hello, you. Whoa. A little overreaction there, I feel like. We're gonna have to learn how to also run whenever I roll. Because you roll pretty darn far. Game looks great, too. Alright. Jerk, let's try this again. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, you gonna. I'll walk up here. It helps if I didn't fat finger my keys every single time I did this guy. Come on, here we go. Let's do this for real this time. Come on, jackass. Hmm. Is there another run? I really want to see if I can backstab this guy. There we go. Man, that's really nice damage on that. Holy cow. Got a great axe. Not really something I'd probably use on a rogue type character, but... Yeah, game's running pretty well. I've got everything maxed except the shadows. Shadows is always pretty brutal. Hey. Did we get energy shard? I resume at some point it's probably going to tell us what some of all that stuff is. I also plan on reading it. I don't know if this game has item descriptions. Like with Dark Souls, you had item descriptions you could read. I plan on reading those. Right now, I kind of just want, since I'm only going to be playing for a little while, I kind of want to, you know, get in and get used to the combat. Because obviously the combat's going to be a big feature of this game. Or a big drawback, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> it could go either way. So far, I'm liking it. Uh, obviously, it's way too early to make any kind of judgment. Uh, it is a bit weird how you the camera handles when you roll, it feels like. Is it just me? Like, especially if anybody else has played this. The Cellars. Graphically, it looks fantastic. Oh, hey. Hello. These are, yeah, it's pretty easy to stagger, it seems like. But there's going to be... I know there's a hidden item behind something, like a bookcase. I watched one of the, like I say, developer things where... I think also you can do more damage from doing, like, combat chains. I mean, I know I could kill this guy easy. I'm still trying to get used to... Whoa. That seems like that could be a pain. But trying to get used to, like, dodging and... Because since I am a rogue, I want to do more... Backstab, and if the game allows it, parrying. Hello, what is this? Magic energy shard. Shard. Ah, giant key. Is it a key for giant? Oh. Key for giants, or is just the key itself a giant? I feel like I've missed this item. That. There's a door. Oh, nope. That was a door, just a bunch of... a wooden wall. Very similar to doors. Except not at all. Alright. Is there a run? There we go. Shift is run. Okay. Again, I'm trying to play it like Dark Souls. And it's not Dark Souls. That's one interesting thing that developers have kind of had to deal with. And I saw an interview, they, they basically flat out asked them about it. And they said, look, you know, what, how do you feel about this thing? You know, people, your people are obviously going to compare your games to Dark Souls. Yeah, you know, how do you feel about that? Did you think about that in design phase? I don't know what this guy's doing. He kind of didn't want to bother fighting with me, I guess. But too bad. But they were like, yeah, you know what? We we realized that we're going to be compared to, to Dark Souls a lot. And they try to, you know, make themselves the differentiate differentiate themselves from Dark Souls. 
But I think they also is like, all right, you know what? If people want to compare us to that game, that's fine. But we're going to still try to do our own thing. We're still unique. So maybe, you know, if you like Dark Souls, this isn't just, you know, a reskin of it. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think I've been this way, have I? 